hello and welcome back to Zealonka. Right, we are getting a helper straight into a contract field. It is about £1,800. It's not a fantastic uh, amount by any means, but it is very local, or fairly local, to our farm there. So I figured, why not? As you can see as well, the lovely snow is upon us, and that is very nice to see. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because December is very slow. There's really not much on. Uh, we will go into and show you the productions here. So we do have uh, carrot soup is continuing to produce. Red beet soup has unfortunately stopped. So what I'm going to do is set that 802 to selling because if I remember correctly, yes, the price is quite good. Now I know we'll get a reduced price and that's fine. We could go and sell some more carrot soup, but I think I think I'd like to wait for March because as you can see here the uh, the price for these months haven't even been shown yet meaning we don't know what they will be although here it does say March is the best time so I feel like this is a good price but it will be even better so we're not in any big rush to sell anything so that is why I really don't mind waiting now the reason that we're in this little vehicle is because since it is December and there is not much on I would like to go and find um, maybe a collectible, but I want to go find those two trees in the little lake area that the collectibles run about. So I believe it's just down the road here. So I, I reckon very quickly we'll do this, and then we will probably uh, move on to. Ch oh my god, you haven't signaled. You have to indicate, mate. No, no indication at all that you were going to make a move. Anyways, ridiculous. We are here, I reckon. This is pro oh, sorry. This is probably where Yeah, there's a lake and it looks like a little park, so I don't think we can drive in there. Oh we shouldn't. So I'm just going to park up here. And let's have a look. Yes, it does say walking, so do not drive in here. This is absolutely lovely, that is. Yeah, let's start this way. So that looks very like potentially there is a, uh, a collectible there, but I reckon we'll start on this side, we'll work our way through and see if we can at least find a collectible. This does seem like a prime location for one. Nice, this is a tree, or at least it was a tree, it looks, or something. Anyways, I don't see any apples here. Make our way down. Is there any bits over there? Oh, it's the road again. Right. Okay, we'll keep... Hello, good morning. Bye-bye. Lovely day, innit? Okay, bye. Um, right. Well, let's go this way. This is just... Oh, hello. What's that? Fancy game of chess? No, I don't. Not just yet. I will collect an apple instead. Nice. 47 more to go. Right, so there's probably only the one in here, but... Oh, this does look like a good place for one. Hmm, can't do any digging. Hmm. No, I don't think they'd put two apples that close together. Unless... Nope. Okay, um, I would like to see this though, because I feel like this is... Oh, there's apples on the trees! Oh, these are the trees! <laughs> these are the trees in which the apples have been stolen from, or whatever they said. And uh, yes, there's two there and one there. Because I've only found the three. Absolutely fantastic. By here you will find the trees. No, I'm just joking, there's nothing there. Um, that's cool. That I found that a lot quicker than I expected. So um, I suppose now we can just wait for the helper to finish. Oh, that's quite lovely, that. Um, I love that detailing. And like this building here, I imagine that's like a church or something. But just the detailing on it is just fantastic. Oh, I suppose the... Yeah, I could cross there. Yeah, this is really nice. Hello, just moseying about. Updates. Ah, oh, it's all, all in Polish. I can't read it. Right, well, I suppose that's it for collectible hunting. I doubt we'd find something just by perusing around. It is nice to just walk around the area, though. I mean, it is so... Oh, well, you know what? There has to be one in here. There's got to be one kicking about. Hmm... Let's see, shall we? Yeah, I reckon this episode will... Oh, there's a little ladder. Oh, I feel like we can climb up there. Oh, maybe not. 
I feel like if you can't if you can't get up there in no regular game, oh hello, then you shouldn't be able to access it. But since we're able to climb all the way, aha! What are the chances? Forty six more to go. Yeah, you'd have to be able to uh, to get up here without uh, flying. But uh, yeah, there we go. So now, you know what? I'm going to be a bit cheeky and try something. Ah, oh, there you go. One, two, three, and four. Fantastic. Right, well, we are just heading back to the farm now because we have... Oh my goodness, these drivers are mental. That is a dangerous junction, that. Anyways, um, we, we <laughs> why is it every time that I'm about to say something that someone decides, oh, I'm going to turn in front of you, mate? Yeah, you're not my mate, pal. Anyways, um, right, we are home now. Can't really see out the window, the side there, but I think this is our home. Yes, this is good here. So we do have 50% left on the contract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly head down to the Zoop 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 factory and collect our Fiat. Because we do have the uh, the trailer attached there, and I'd like to give the chickens a bit of food. Now I've realised as well that we can uh, feed them. Well, rather, well, we have to feed them, but we can um, sell the wheat. But it just doesn't make sense. I mean, we do have thirteen thousand liters, and they really don't go through it very quickly. So I think I think it would be in in our best interest to keep as much of the wheat as possible. I don't think we'll need money that badly that we have to sell it. So I think we'll hang on to it and uh, then we can just focus on selling our soups and whatever else we end up producing and the wheat that we have can be for the chickens entire life <laughs> essentially. But uh, yes, yeah, so I will give them a bit of food and oh, watch yourself. I'll give them a bit of food and uh, the contract should be finished up again. It's about about eighteen hundred pounds so we should have a bit more money but of course when we move on to January we will be paying another fairly expensive uh, fee for the uh, the lease to own and, and all that so right we will do all that and we'll see you in January right so we are not quite in January yet uh, in fact the contract is now complete but I do want to do something before I forget and before it loses more value this combine is fantastic. However, I'm going to sell it. The reason is I've used it many times. Uh, I've said this in other series as well. Not only that, but it's just going to be sat there, especially since I don't have all that many intentions on uh, doing this sort of crop that requires this sort of harvester. The other thing is, if I do get another harvester in the future, it will be a different one because, again, I've used this lots. So very quickly we'll go here. I have started up another contract because it was literally right next to it. So go on, get the helper doing its thing. We will complete this one. So we'll collect our £1,800 for that. We will go over here and get this sold. So we have... Oh, blimey, it's worth quite a bit. I did not expect that. So we'll start with... Well, we might as well start with a header. So we'll repair. Might as well repaint. And sell. And we'll do the same with the trailer, sell. And for the combine itself, we'll repair it. Might as well repaint it and then sell it on for 113,650. So we are at 214,372. Now, with this money, so while I'm rambling, might as well let the helper watch the helper do its thing. With it, well, actually, we should check the sales as well. Oh, that's quite nice. Hmm. This is tempting because of the fact that we want to do some logging, but you know what? No, no, no. That's mental because we don't even have a trailer for it or a, a tractor unit, so no, we won't get carried away. Um, what I would like to look at is our loan because maybe we should pay it off. We have the money. Yes, yeah. Repay all of it. No faffing about beautiful. So now we are essentially at exactly the amount we had before. Okay, he's struggling. I don't want to watch this. It's hard to watch. Uh, we <laughs> we are essentially at the same amount we were just at uh, before selling the combine, but now we are loan free. The other thing is we are eventually going to need a spud harvester because yes, I do intend on doing potatoes as well as this is going to be a primarily root crop focused uh, series. Now, I don't think ridging is required 
for potatoes so that is fine uh, again well here you know what let's look at the map very quickly before we move on to January let's have a look at stuff okay so if we do want to put spuds in it'll be March the reason I want to do potatoes is so that we can do potato soup and we can do a potato uh, uh, crisps potato chips so let's very quickly look at the production and see how much it costs is this it? Nope. Is this it here? Nope. There's so many doors. Oh, it is this one. 120,000. Hmm, okay. Right. I think... What would I prefer to do? It depends on what we do first. So, we can either buy this production for 120,000, or we can buy the, f the uh, processing, whatever it's called, up here, for 110,000. Nope, that's the bakery. Uh, where was it? It was on the other side. So this one I believe was 110. Wrong door. Yeah, 110. So we'll figure that out. I haven't fully decided what I'd like to do in that in that respect, but I think I would like to do field 54 as potatoes. I know that's mental, but we can see how long we can go without having a regular crop. Now it would be nice to have kept the harvester to do contracts, but I really want to focus on doing our best for uh, doing all the root crop stuff. Anyways, we'll let the helper finish up. I might even take over off camera just to get this done. A few extra bob in the bank. Nothing wrong with that. We'll see you in January. Good morning and welcome to a beautiful and snowy January morning. Right, I am facing this massive silo for a reason. Now, one thing that always stood out to me is the bloody silo because it's massive and look at our buildings old barely working no I'm joking they work absolutely fine you know you can see through very uh, there's an aesthetic to them and it is fairly vintage and a bit old school which I absolutely love that monstrosity is not another beautiful thing about it is that since my plans are focused very much so on basically not uh, harvestable crops we are going to sell this silo so what I'm gonna do is uh, oh, we're not lined up at all I'm gonna remove the wheat out of here we will keep it in the class trailer for the time being worst case is that we just dump it into uh, I don't know uh, maybe a, another smaller trailer or something we can always get it out another way can our small car hold no it cannot that would be that would have been useful any sales very small trailer oh what is going on so okay this is beautiful absolutely love it not gonna buy it it's just not worth it you know if it was like an 8s or something maybe but uh, then these two are here and I can't see a use for these truly I, I would love to absolutely but just no 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 use for them just yet anyways eh, we could get a small we have uh, well no that wouldn't have even fit at all uh you know what it's not there is a new trailer that's quite nice actually it's that's a big trailer anyways we're gonna put it in here it's absolutely fine what my plan is is to maybe dump it somewhere get a small shovel i don't know we'll figure it out either way i'm not fussed about dumping it on the ground i just i can't I can't really bear the sight of this silo anymore. It's just out of so out of place, and I don't even know that it registered how out of place it was until now. Now, in the future, we could look at putting up some other kind of silo, but as you can see, um, yeah, there, there's all the um, American-style bins, uh, but then we have something like, I don't even know which one this is, it looks like that. Right, so we should get some f a fair bit of money back for it. Uh, but as it stands, we do not need it. And potentially, this could be a really nice place for a new shed. So, let's let's go ahead and sell it. I kind of wish the snow hadn't settled, because uh, I can't see the footprint that it's going to leave. But nevertheless, I'm going to sell it regardless. Let's sell it. 57485 in the bank. Brilliant. Oh, that's much better. Much more open. Even if we put a shed there, it won't be massive like that was now 
I don't intend on placing anything until we can see the ground. But let's have a look at the sheds available. So there are new ones. We did have a quick look. This one, no, that's what we have. Um, no, no, maybe this one? Because, oh wow, no, that's quite big for that space. Hmm, if I was to, yeah, that's a lot bigger than it. I am, and I love how it's already got snow on. <laughs> that's brilliant. I think, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, nah, we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. I do quite like this, to be honest, but, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's expensive as well. So, anyways, for now, we don't need any of that. It would be good to put our kit away. I'm also very tempted to sell this as well because again I really don't have intention on doing much crop work aside from potatoes and other vegetables. So I think I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sell this. I will make sure to get the seed out because I did notice there is some seed in. Um, you know what I'm just gonna empty it behind here it should go to my right. Have I... Have I forgotten? Oh, it says not enough space. Uh, it's fine. We can actually move it because it will be a... You know what? It might... Oh, no, I was going to say. It might be because it's um, uh, snowing, but no. That is fine. Okay. Let's get this pushed against that wall. Oh, my. We've gone... Everything's just gone wrong. Let's try that again. Push this against the wall just out of the way absolutely perfect okay we can relocate it with our small pallet fork anyways but for now we will get this sold now that weeder I might keep and use uh, but this I, I fully intend on, on selling it right now actually I also need to look at um, a few things I need to look at potato tech to see what we can do for planting oh nice Repaint. I didn't even use it. It's fine. Whatever. Sold. Brilliant. Um, yeah, let's look at some potato stuff. So we'll check here again. Nothing. Now I did add in a um, a mod. I don't know what how different it is. It's this one here. Oh, nice. Six meter though. Oh yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, I saw this on the mod hub and I was like, oh yeah, right, because I couldn't remember exactly how much this was, but as you can see, it is very expensive. Um, that might be what we have to do though first. Even if we get helper on, at least it's cheaper. And is that a planter? Oh, it is, yeah, okay, so three meters, but, um, well, we'll have to see. Yeah, the, for the price difference, this makes more sense because it holds more. But uh, really doesn't doesn't matter all that much. Anyways, we'll look at all that later on because we won't be able to put them in until later on anyways. Uh, but I would like to look at, yeah, I think this is what we'll probably use for harvesting our potatoes. But we won't worry about that just yet. Um, January is slow. Nothing on. Chickens are fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, how... How how's our production doing? How are we for soup? Oh wow, we've my my we my my. <laughs> Here, let's get this to not selling for when we put more in storing. I don't think I'll make parsnip soup. I'd like to eventually make a little bit, even red beet. But I really want to get the triple soup made because because why not? It's probably worth more as well because you're using all the ingredients and of course potato soup in the future. But yes, we need to get down there and see what's going on. Whoa. Alright, we've got we've got eight here. So does that mean there's still eleven thousand liters in there? It's processing very quickly. Anyways, let's have a look at our time saving stock check. Wow, we have a hundred thousand <laughs> it is an extra on top of what we have outside. Luckily, it's cold out, so it'll keep refrigerated. But uh, we have nearly a hundred thousand pounds worth of soup. With the eggs, we are at that level. Uh, of course, the price is not the best it can be, but it is going up, and March is going to be the best time to sell it. Uh, as you can see, we've got nothing on January. I think we really need to move along to February, which again we might end up moving on from February over to March. And yes. 
We are paying every single month. We're paying for this bloody harvester, and it is costing us a lot. But remember, I mean, the super loan is taking care of that, and I'm really not too fussed on it. So, yeah. And if we do find some more collectibles, then we can, uh, yeah, then we can we can make even more money. So, I will have another look at the sales just to not pass them by. I think we're okay here. I don't think they're going to overflow. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll head to the farmhouse. And I reckon we can probably sleep. Chickens are fine for food. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, just in case something goes pear-shaped, I always like to give a cheeky save before I sleep. Because you just, you just never know. So let's go till... 9, yeah, sure. Go till 9 a.m., get a nice sip of coffee in. Ah, delicious. Alright. What have we got? What have... I hear all the money being taken out of my account. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, but that's fine. We know exactly why. Oh, what's going on? Great demand at the mill. Is it for wheat? It's not. Good. Oh, it's not even in the thing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, we've got £150,000 worth of soup. That is mental. Absolutely mental. And we've still got 20,000 litres left. Oh, this is very, very good. We do have a lot of kit to buy anyways. And as I've said in, uh, before, I am going to... How the chickens? They're fine. Uh, I am going to lease to own big kit only, so harvesters primarily, and we do need to buy two more of them. Not a combine harvester, so you like, mate, Grumbles, what could possibly be the other harvester? Well, that is a secret. I have an idea for what I want to do for the series, but I will keep that one close to the chest till I know absolutely certain that that's what I want to do. Anyways, as you can see, it is desolate here in February. Nothing on. The snow's on the ground. We can't even do any contracts. There probably aren't any contracts. Ah, oh, there are. But that's fine. We do not want them. Let's have a look, though. Ooh, 50. Oh, it must be. Oh, yeah, that's that big, bloody big field, eh? Yeah. Although, if 51 or 57 is all right... No, it's fine. It's fine. I'd rather move on to March, because then we can really get to business. So, I think... Be yeah, yes. 100%. We will wake up at probably 8. Yeah, just in case, because let's have a look at our calendar. Can we put anything in? Yes, yeah, spuds can go in. Actually, before we do... Sorry, I'm all over the place. I want to have a look at potatoes, see if we get... If there is any info on potatoes, because... Um, I haven't really done them proper, so I want to make certain... Yes, yes. I'm looking more for... Uh, do we have to, like, do anything special to the field before putting in potatoes? I don't think so. But... Yeah, this is for that. Um, let's see if there is anything about potatoes, because we do have potato production, so perhaps... Yeah, that's just for veg. Uh, Rucra, yeah, right, okay, so that's fine. Um, production channel, piano. Yeah, that'll be cool as well to do, uh, to make some planks. Actually, before we do crack on, how much is the sawmill? It's up here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, oh, where is the... Mm, I should just activate. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't know where I'm at. Okay, that's good. Where is the... That's for selling wood. Where is the... I want to buy. Nope. Maybe you can't buy this sawmill. No, you... Yeah, there it is. I see it. Oh, that's all right. 120,000. And what if we want to do uh, pianos straight away? Wait. Oh, hey, wait a second. Do we need the sawmill or do we need the carpentry? I'll have to double check that because now I can't remember if... Uh... Nice. 60,000. Oh, hang on. I can't remember what the carpentry does. I might have to uh, look into that before we make any moves, because I really can't remember. 
But also, where are there some trees? Okay, that's reasonable. This one's all right too. Here we've got low. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, that's expensive. Um. Right, nice little bit there. Some trees there. This one seems reasonable. Um. There are some more trees up here. This one would be perfect if we're doing carpentry, because then it's like right there. It's like right behind. It's quite hilly, but there are many trees, and I do not intend on getting a big uh, wood harvester or uh, uh, anything like that. So, okay, well, we'll look into that in time. I think the piano production might be one of the last things we do, or even next winter we can look into it, if we have the cash for all that, because it is fairly expensive. Um, so what I'll do is remove interactive zones. I'll go back home and save again, just in case. You never know. Sleep till... We'll go 8 because... Yeah. Because it's early. Early, early spring, which means we have to be very on top of it. There might be snow still. We are literally sleeping the day away. But that's fine. Right, there is snow still. That's... And rain coming. Okay. I don't know how that's all going to work, but it should be alright. At least we are now in March. Oh, the snow is making things go wild and crazy. Uh, okay, we've officially run out of carrots, but we also have, I'm going to guess, 200,000 pounds. 175, that's fine. I'm <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, it is March now, so that should only be going up. Hey, let's go find carrot soup. 3360. 3... 610. Okay, well, we'll wait a bit, and then we'll sell a bunch of soup. And with that, we'll be able to uh, to do a few things. Now, I don't intend on doing another... I wonder... I might... Mm, I'd like to buy a new field with spuds in, but I just I can't see anyone putting in potatoes just yet. Right, I think we need to move the day along a bit uh, to get rid of this snow. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Chickens are probably fine. Yeah, they're alright. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's, I think this will be good to start our our planting. Oh, wait, what about the other crops? Ah, April. Okay, so yeah, perfect opportunity to get some potato-y things uh, done, except the snow will prevent us. So, tell you what, we will, I'll, I'll speed up a bit of time and uh, s keep an eye on the carrot soup and keep an eye on the snow as well. And we'll see you when all the snow has gone. Alright, well as you can see the snow has stopped so that is good news. Uh, although I was watching the price of our carrot soup and it has, uh, it seems it's peaked around the same price so I think it's time to sell it. Yeah, it's gone down a little bit but that's still fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna sell it because we need that cash. Now I am going to purchase a small trailer because our little truck is not gonna be able to support more than a few pallets and uh, I think I have a mod that I've added in. Let's have a look. It's just a small low loader that, uh, yeah, they, no wait, that's base game. Hang on. Oh, what? Okay, so yeah, I did add this one in because uh, Unia, um, or Unia, I think that's how it's pronounced, is, I'm almost certain, a Polish brand. So it is actually <laughs> identical to this. Uh, it's just red and Polish, so, and cheaper, so that's brilliant. Let's get some customization done. Uh, do we want some... I'll oh, we'll just keep the main decals. Oh my. Um, we can go... We can go without. We're not putting bales on. It's strictly for... Um, let's get that. Lovely. Uh, it's strictly for pallet transportation. And I think it will be absolutely perfect for us. So £10,000. Brilliant. Now, we do... Oh, look at this. Red on red on red. Right, I think what we're going to do before that, before we start selling, is I will get a helper on uh, doing some potato... Uh, har uh, not harvesting, not yet. Not yet. Doing some potato planting, there's the word. 
So before... Oh, I like how the... Uh, I don't think I've ever used this, even the base game version. I don't think I ever have. So let's very quickly get him to go to... Um, I believe this is it here. We'll just go right in like that, and you can start that job. We'll get the Z-Tool all fired up. This is probably the best for the job. Um, so now that we have that far field cultivated, which I believe it's considered a... Let's see, how's he getting on? Oh, I've just stopped it. Blimey. Yep. <laughs> That's silly. I did... <laughs> Yeah, start job. There you go. He's already he's already on his way. Oh my goodness. Never mind. Not on his way. I suppose we can just take it down ourselves. Um, what I will do, though, is I'll get the Z-Tor over here. I think it's considered stubble tillage that we've done on, the, uh, on our field there that is to be spuds. But I have to double check. Right, either way, we are going to be purchasing that... Uh, modded potato uh, planter. So let's see. Yeah, stubble tillage. I don't think we have to plow. I do have periodic plowing off. I don't know if that applies necessarily to this as well. But nevertheless, we are going to go to sales. Anything? No, no. That would be lucky if it was. We need potato technology. And uh, so this would be fine, but 150 horsepower, so luckily this is a little bit more expensive. But, um, yeah, this one is... Oh, it's got this big thing on the back. See, now that looks like a ridger, but it's something that do is done after the fact. Now if we go to this one... Oh, it doesn't have anything like that. Ah. Is it necessary, though? You know what? Let's do without... Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do exactly as that. It holds 4,000 litres, which is brilliant. Uh, it will be great for when we have our big um, field, especially. But 95 horsepower. And yes, it is still 3 metres, but that is fine. No, we are not going to lease it, because as I've said, I'm sticking to my word on it. Only big kit will be leased to own. What have I done here? This <laughs> silliest way possible. Right, the Oxbow pack. That's one that I've never really uh, dove into. Well, we might look into that. Right, we don't need any seed, because we do have the uh, seed over here from our other drill. So I will just get this started. And uh, fret not, this is not the only time that we will be doing uh, potatoes in any capacity, so it's not like you're going to miss out a whole bunch if we... Uh... Right, let's we'll get that filled up. Uh, you're not going to miss a whole bunch of um, planting here once we start, so... Do not fret on that. I wonder how far 600 litres will go. I guess we'll find out. Has, has there been a small area missed? Oh, he has missed a small bit of carrot. That's a bit annoying. Is that like one solitary weed in the ground? Oh, that's so annoying. It's alright. It's alright. We, uh, we can always go over it again later on. So I will just start this up myself just to see how it goes. Brilliant. Okay, bring it in, bring it in, lower down. What a thing. And on. And we are putting in, I believe, spuds. Now, yes, this is much better to do with a helper because they will actually do it nice. I. Oh, what? It's a bit strange. Is that going to affect. Right, it does say there are weeds growing in. Wait, what? Hmm. I wonder... That's annoying. I wonder if that's the, uh, if that's what these things do. If that prevents weeds from going in. Oh, there's a roller as well. Oh, would that have... Hmm. Right, well, uh, it's fine. Whatever. This, just for the first time. I do want to check, though. Does it need to be rolled? Does it need to be rolled? I didn't think spuds needed to. No, they don't. No. They do need to be fertilised, as does the rest of this field and that one, but that will come in time. In fact, we could probably get a, uh, a sprayer 
Let's see, where's the sprayers at here? Sprayer, nope, that's slurry, sprayers. Because there are new ones, yeah, there's these two new ones. Oh wow, they are massive, that's much more than we need, yeah. Hmm. But for herbicide, we'll need something. We might even have to get a small one to start, and then upgrade eventually, because it would be nice to do this, but again, we cannot lease to own, because... I've said no. Or we can lease it and return it, but no leasing to own. That's my kind of very simple rule, I suppose you could say. Anyways, getting on fine. Oh my god, half the spuds are gone. Right, well, let's make our way down to the soup factory. And by the time that the uh, Z Tour gets to the end, we'll have to buy some more seed. But in the meantime, we'll make our way to the factory. Right, 143 litres remaining, we'll go into big bags, we'll get some seed, we'll do three bags for now, just because a, a fourth one won't fit in fully, and we'll get this filled up, I have the Fiat all ready to go over at the, at the factory, we are going to be doing a bit of uh, pallet loading though, but it should work out really nicely with our new, um, oh wow, see that slowly going down? kind of cool. It's just as you fill it up it needs to go down and down. Maybe it's just the weight of it. Anyways, we do have some pallet uh, loading to tend to, so we'll get this set off on the helper once again, and we'll see you back at Zoop Zoop Zoop. Alright, so we'll get that opened up, lowered down, we can start loading up our carrot soup. Unfortunately, the price has decreased a bit. Um, we Off the total amount, it's probably gone down about, uh, oh, you know what, it could be a bit cheeky here. I think we can get four at once, if not six. I'm going to try six. Is that too cheeky? Come on. Oh, there might... No, there has to be. Hmm, okay, guess not. Um, right, anyways, I am going to try and get the... Uh, I'm gonna, oh, come on! <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Uh, right, the... Um, the price has gone down a bit. Total amount about two thousand pounds less for all of our uh, all of our soup. So it's not too bad. It really is just um, half a pallet. Really, oh, that's off a bit. I'm gonna try six. We might need a wait for six, but if I can do four with not well, come on, with not much trouble, then it should be fine. Yeah, you just have to take your time with this. Ooh, it's a bit dodgy, but let's try it anyways. We're just going over here to the uh, to the trailer. Just save us some time. Right, I will break off into a time lapse and get the soup loaded. Alright, well, this is probably a good time to uh, address the bouncing trailer. I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, there are so many bloody pallets. I feel like I haven't loaded pallets like this since my Silver Run playthrough. The last time that uh, there were ample productions to tend to. Blimey, they keep coming, mate. They just keep coming. I think the next time we do soup, I might forego, I mean, I'd like to do, maybe I'll do a pallet of, of parsnip and uh, and red beet or whatever, but I think for, oh my goodness, these are going to fly right off. This is not on. Right, literally not on. I will sort that later. I think, yeah, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera, oops, and uh, and then we'll see. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see you down at Erlingrad because look at that we've we've lost even more just from all the fa what I swore I what did that not say 176 and now it says 276 what all right so we are losing about 5,000 pounds but we've got so Oh, in the rain. There's okay. I just want to see. Okay, stop bouncing now. Oh, right. I'm gonna get the rest of this done off camera, and we'll see you at the train station. All right. Well, we're not quite at the train station yet. It has been a an absolute battle. Uh, this is not. This. Do, oh my! Look at that. Look at that. We should really have a front weight on. Luckily, we have the uh, thing on because this would be absolute any bump and we are going to do a wheelie yeah I bloody knew it oh look at that right so we are heading to a slightly different train station because I reckon we are not going to be loading all of these with the pallet uh, fork thing here in the future we'll probably do it a little bit different probably sell the soup as we make it instead of doing it all in one big go because this is mental and way too much is very heavy for this little trailer but luckily we are managing uh, so I, f I reckon we might do there's my helper getting on absolutely fine nearly done the field I have heard nothing about an empty tank so that is very good news I will put the rest of this journey into a time-lapse though Right, that's what I was a bit concerned about, was the inability to actually get up onto the platform. We do have to get on the platform though, but I don't think it's going to happen. At least not with a bit of extra help. Oh blimey, come on. Not a chance. Right, okay, we will... Now I'm stuck completely. I'm going to try and go up the side. Uh, we do have time, of course, because the train is not uh, nearby yet. Uh, we will see it before we have to rent it, but I do want to make certain that we are ready to go before we rent it. It'll be coming either way, so I think this way might actually be a lot better. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, don't know. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> so this is the last time we're doing it like this. This is absolute shambles. My plan... I'm sure someone might know by now, is to put the whole bloody trailer on one of the train cars. Now, we can get rid of the uh, tag here. I have tagged... Oh, no, we are up here. Untag. Now, still... Oh, train's coming, so let's... Uh, let's rent that train. Right, beautiful. It is en route. Uh, now, what we're going to do is put just the... Is it moving on its own? Just the trailer on. As you can see, the tyres are about to burst, but I think that's the best course of action because loading them one at a time would, would take ages. And I, we just did a, uh, a time lapse of loading. Oh, look at that. It looks really lovely, that, this view. That is absolutely lovely. All the rolling hills and all the farmer's fields. You've got a little windmill in the distance there as well. Absolutely lovely. And there's our train right on cue and I reckon very quickly in a check oh look at that on to the last pass absolutely brilliant I'm gonna try and catch the train actually might not need to oh yes we will nope that's not the hello may I enter the train I, I can't get in Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was silly. Couldn't figure that out. Anyways, we are in the train. Oh, no way. Are you serious? The tank has just emptied. Right, well, that, I did not notice that it was empty, empty, but that is fine. I think if we drive, I hope this works. We're going to have to drive probably forward, actually. Yeah, stop, please. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, well, that's fine. At least we can. Oh, this is quite the gap. We have to take a bit of a running start at it. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home, folks. 
This is a cheeky trick I did on Silver Run as well, but it was with uh, something a little less... Oh no. A little less conspicuous. Actually, it was more conspicuous because it was a bloody huge reefer trailer with a lorry attached as well. If we can just get it on partially... Oh, that's not what I meant. I hate that I like this. I hate that this is what's going to happen. It's not going to work. Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. Right. Let's reset and try again. Right, that's about as straight on as I can get it. So let's lower it down so it doesn't flop about. And uh, we'll move this out the way. We will have to go and collect it, but we are closer to where that will be. Um, yeah, we should probably strap it down here. Let's get to the train. Please don't fly off in the meantime. Now, I'm not entirely certain what's going to happen to our trailer. Uh, it was a bit of a mess in Silver Run when we did this last time, but hopefully this time around it's not so bad. Anyways, we do have all of our stuff on. It does say 156,000. Is that how much we have? No, I think it doubles it for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, we are on the way with the trailer in tow. I can't believe how much it actually is going to, to give us here. We are... Sh uh, it's going back up again, but we are losing a bit of money, but this is a big income for us. This will really help get things going. Now, how is it going to go? Oh my god, I'm very terrified for it. Sorry! Uah, not good. 233,000 uh, plus whatever is left over. Oh my... Wow, that is that is a seven thousand pounds per. Yeah, we'll just get that fixed up as well. Oh, has this been destroyed? Here, let's get it over here. Oh my! There we go. I think it's in shock. It doesn't know what to do or how to act. Yeah. Right, well, anyways, what we I think we should do with that is simply reset it. That was a bit cheeky, I know, I know it was cheeky, uh, but it had to be done. Well, it didn't have to be done, but it's done. And uh, we can now head to the shop, collect our trailer, and... Uh, oh, right. Actually, we'll just leave this here for the time being. We'll get the trailer later on. That's not important. This is more of a rush. So, we're going to head to the shop and get some seed. So I reckon we can go with just the one bag, that should be absolutely fine uh, because we'll get this done and then any other seed that we need we can always purchase again in the future. Um, now my only concern is that when I... I don't know if you can empty these or not. I don't know if you can empty the planter. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try really quickly, it's a bit cheeky but I'm gonna try. You can't, okay that's good to know. Maybe I will only put in a small amount. Well, no, it's fine. We're, we're going to do more potatoes. It's fine. I'm going to fill it up. It's all right. We'll fill it up full, and that way at least we have all the potato seed or potato plant. You know, baby potatoes <laughs> to put in the uh, in the ground. So, and there we go. The rain has stopped. Right. We'll see you in the field. All right, and lower it down, fire it up, and I think we're putting spuds in the ground. Absolutely fantastic. So as I say, uh, it's fine that we're going to have some leftover potatoes in the uh, in the planter here because we are. I do fully intend on doing more than just one field of potatoes. In fact, I wonder if there are any potato fields I can buy. Or perhaps a field I can buy that we can put potatoes in. Because as you can see, we have £363,000. Now, the only problem with buying a production is that we have nothing to put in them. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Uh, we have the money for the productions, we just don't have the produce to put in the production. So, yeah, I should have put 100 litres, that would have been perfect. But, that's fine. We at least have... Uh, I'm just going to shut the engine for now. At least we have a, a field full of potatoes. It does require a weeding already, um, and it needs to be fully fertilized. We have done no fertilized, so we need to look into that. I'll probably invest 
in uh, always check the sales I'll probably invest in something like this because it's inexpensive and we can do all the fertilizing that we need at 43 sorry 42 meters don't know where I got 43 from and that is fantastic very quickly before we wrap up the uh, the episode here I do want to check on fields right actually let me just have a look at this yeah this is all done but that is absolutely fine we'll get this switched over to storing because I did switch it to do to do do do, do. <laughs> blimey to uh, selling so that we could just get the rest cleared out and happy days for it 50 is growing blimey please be spuds ask oh, cotton who wants that blimey everybody's put in cotton eh Oh, I was really hoping that 51 or 50 would have been potatoes. That would have been absolutely... I'd have bought this straight away. I'd have bought it straight away. Tell you what. If, for whatever reason, the farmer doesn't put potatoes... We do have another month to to do some, some spuds. Because I'd like to do some spud soup, potato soup, and I want to get the other production going. Ah, but we need more things for that. Anyways, nevertheless, I will wait to see what happens because, as you can see, it's it's been harvested, not re-drilled yet. Here's to hoping that we can get another field, and ideally one that has potatoes in, because we don't want any other vegetables, because we're going to get loads out of 52 and 53. This will be beetroot and... Oh, you know what, though? We do need carrot again, because if we're going to do triple soup, we need all so really i should have put carrot in one of these fields but that's fine whatever 51 could be another one but um who knows we'll have to just wait and see how it all comes together we might eventually do triple soup not a rush at all right well this has been quite the action-packed episode we went through many months december all the way to march uh, we sold a silo we sold a harvester we bought some more potato kit we sold a literally a, a, a train load of spud soup sorry carrot soup it's been a bit mental but i really hope you are enjoying premium expansion with zielonka if you have enjoyed the video a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel and i hope you're enjoying the series as well Starting next week, we are back to our regul regular rather schedule. So that'll be Court Farm Tuesday, Zielonka Thursday, Vintage on Saturday, and Caselno on Sunday. So until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.